Hello, so this will be an informal video about some changes of mind I've had about um, idealism in relation to quantum mechanics. So the first thing is that I'm taking down the um, quantum mechanics interpretation series because, well, I don't find it very helpful in making the ideals case. But another thing is that I made a few errors in that series. Um, so the errors had to do more specifically with certain interpretations like the transactional interpretation as well as like quantum Darwinism and information theory and so on. So because I don't want to go back and make those changes, I've decided that I'm deleting the series and I may redo the series in the future, but um, that won't be for a very, very long time. So don't expect me to uh, do it soon. Um, I'll still, I'll still keep up my older videos. So like the ones that I give like presentations on, because um, there's still a lot of valuable information in them, but overall, I'm, I'm going to take down my uh, quantum mechanics interpretation series. Um, plus, I'm making, I'm thinking about making an updated version uh, of those videos. And so, once I make those updated versions, then I'll take down the older videos. Um, but again, we'll see that where, where that goes. Um, anyways, the next thing I want to mention is um, the alternative arguments from physics. Um, now, I'm not talking about you know the observer effect. Um, or the digital physics argument, but arguments like what Donald Hoffman brings up, as well as um, arguing from many worlds. Um, so yeah, there is an actual argument from the many worlds interpretation, and it's that um, a many worlds interpretation would imply some sort of idealism through divine conceptualism. So if you have um, a bunch of infinitely many worlds where you can think of them as ideas in God's mind, and that would imply some sort of conceptualism. Now, I'll probably do a video on that later. Uh, I'm not going to present the full argument here, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, Donald Hoppen also argues that the falsification of non-contextual realism already gives us good reason to deny physicalism. Again, I'm going to do videos on these later, probably, but we'll see where that goes. Um, so anyways, um, the next aspect is about some epistemic problems with any physics-based arguments. Um, and this is why I like to focus more on philosophy rather than physics. Um, what this basically means is that if one treats science as a conceptual tool, then it can't speak on matters of metaphysics. So in other words, science only tells us what matter does and not what matter actually is. And so since science does not tell us what matter is, then it can't tell us whether matter is mind independent or mind dependent. Um, so the exact nature of matter is not really relevant to scientific discovery since one can interpret the science in many different ways, and it's compatible with many different metaphysics. Um, so, like, for example, um, the Copenhagen interpretation would assume idealism to be true um, rather than arguing for it, and then Bohemian mechanics assumes materialism to be true. Um, so, you know, it's the same thing with quantum mechanics. Like, any interpretation you hold to is going to kind of presuppose some metaphysics behind it, and so that's why it's probably not the best way, best route to go. Um, so like any scientific argument you give, um, that gives some sort of like metaphysical conclusion, um, can be backfired and argue for a different, uh, metaphysical position. Um, so that's why for me, I'm going to be focusing more on the philosophical arguments for idealism rather than the scientific ones. Now, again, this does not mean that I don't think the scientific ones work. I just think that they're the weaker versions, right? So when you think of the whole case for idealism, the scientific arguments are the weaker arguments, whereas the philosophical arguments are the uh, much stronger arguments. So that for that reason, um, I'm going to be focusing more on that rather than you know the science. But we'll see how that goes. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, and so yeah, I mean, pretty much, I'm just going to be doing that for a while. So thank you guys for listening and have a nice day.